what sort of problems you think that the IHS practice program should take on and is going to take on as it establishes? In a university, the idea of practice can be much broader. So practice doesn't have to be only towards earning something. It can be towards contributing to the society. In particular, most firms and even most universities don't look at the last mile, at the lowest 50%, at their issues, their problems, especially in the urban context. And that is something that IHS can do. IHS has been doing. And it has been looking at um, what are the issues of water, sanitation, housing, work uh, that um, affect the lowest 50%. And what kind of policies can be there that would improve their conditions. So I think uh, IHS has a bigger role in changing the environment for the poor and for urban areas. How do you feel like in the way it has been working, IHS is doing this differently from other mm -hmm. educational institutions and more traditional university setups? Uh, I think the combination of practice and teaching is a very good one here because the practice informs uh, IHS of what the reality is. It informs, also informs IHS of where the policies are going. And it also enables IHS to help change policy. And then it can bring all that knowledge to the teaching. So I think that combination of policy and practice is a very good one. So in your mind, if we're here for 10 years, then 15 years, how would we know that we've done some part of this right? What would success look like to you? I think uh, because we are doing policy and practice, uh, uh, teaching and knowledge building. So it's really three things, the knowledge building being the research. Uh, I think the example that IHS has do just done, which is of making the affordable housing policy for the government of Karnataka. I think that was a, that's a, 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 an example of success because what is affordable housing, who are the people who need it, how can it be there, uh, taking the knowledge we have and translating it into a doable policy. I think that was a very major achievement. And those are the kind of landmarks that one would like to see um, in the policy field. In the teaching field, it's really how, how do you affect these students' minds so that when they go into their, into their jobs, whatever the jobs are, they'll bring some of this with them.